Okay, so I'm ready. And recording this conclusion. So let's start. We'll have some time for a discussion. So I've prepared some slides, but uh, indeed uh, they are not exhaustive and uh, it's not covering everything that we heard during these, those two days. Um, it was uh, really a, a very nice, uh, uh, very nice uh, event for, for me and for everyone. So briefly, I'll just take five, five minutes to give some, 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 some ideas of what came up uh, after those two days. Uh, so it's the first edition of uh, Contribulang, uh, maybe not the last, we'll talk about it later. And we had nine presentations and four workshops. So that, that is quite satisfying. We tried to, to propose some things that could be, uh, uh, that could be online worldwide. So that's why we had, uh, uh, we had some constraints on the timing of the presentations and the workshops. And along the, those two days, we had uh, around 10 to, to 30 participants. So maybe we expected more participants, but it, it was quite hard. And as a first edition, uh, I'm quite happy with that. So that's not that uh, so bad. Uh, so it, it, it's not easy also, it was a difficulty for us to prepare something that was like truly multilingual in that sense that we would, uh, we, we wanted to do some interpretation or translation, uh, so we managed to do it on a, on a pad, but uh, we didn't have a real-time audio translation, maybe next time. Uh, about what uh, has been presented, we had uh, many platforms presented and many of them was, were related to uh, Wikimedia, Wikipedia projects. So uh, we, we can say that they have uh, some community su support uh, and involvement of people and they already have uh, an infrastructure. So this is maybe easier for the wiki related projects to to, uh, to have that, that kind of uh, initiatives. Uh, but we also had some uh, wiki independent projects like uh, I believe Living Dictionaries come into Nidemi Africa that are not related that much to Wikipedia. Uh, about languages also, we had some presentation or workshops uh, specific to one or some languages or specific to regions or linguistic families and others that were, that were really language independent. So I believe this is a quite important distinction uh, regarding objectives and what can be done for each platform. Uh, speakers were, uh, many of them related to Wikimedia too. Uh, we had also some academics and I believe uh, many people passionate about the, the language or or what they do with uh, uh, with those platforms. So I I made a list, a big list of challenges. So maybe too too big, and I'm afraid it's not exhaustive. So I'm not sure I will uh, elaborate on all of those. But uh, I distinguished uh, three categories. The first one about communities. So what we want to do with people, what what people can do, how much they are involved how much they do speak languages, how much they are able to, uh, to, to, to give data to this platform. And uh, one thing that is uh, quite interesting for me too is the level of fluency. So uh, I heard this uh, in uh, uh, many presentation. Uh, we want people that uh, speak the language, but some people speak more or less fluently uh, the language. So that is something that is not most of the time uh, taken into account. Um, we also have the question of the relations with the academics, institution, and also NGOs. So uh, maybe some of you know already that uh, we have the decade of uh, minority languages by UNESCO, and uh, we got in touch with them, but we didn't uh, uh, we, we couldn't uh, make something with them, so maybe it's also a perspective. About uh, scientific and technological challenges, so indeed there are 
as always with language, some technical issues. We also uh, have some issues with data manipulation and how we record the keyboard and how we import and export data. Also about data usage, because we already have many data, linguistic data, and we sometimes forget that those data ex exist. So the idea is also to leverage existing data, merge sometimes data, cross fertilize or uh, curate also the, the databases. Um, about computer science uh, sciences, we have some uh, some issues to repositories and databases, so that is very technical. And the last one, I I didn't uh, say much about this because it is not uh, my domain, but linguistics indeed is a very important uh, part of uh, those uh, those platforms. So there is a uh, behind uh, uh, linguistic consider considerations that we can't ignore. Um, those platforms also have multiple objectives and it's quite different. Uh, so the first one about revitalization, second one about teaching, third one linguistics or translation. And uh, for myself, uh, for instance, there is a natural language processing, but uh, I may uh, I added a question mark because I'm not sure this is a very important uh, consideration for people that that are passionate about uh, their language. But natural language processing indeed will benefit from uh, the the data. So this is quite uh, the. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the all that I have to say. So indeed, I'd like to uh, thank everyone, to, uh, in particular speaker, participants, and my co-organizers. Co uh, I believe it was uh, really a, a nice event, very interesting for me. I learned a lot and uh, for me, it gives me a lot of uh, ideas and perspectives to, uh, to continue. Uh, for this event in particular, but also maybe to uh, to keep contact with people and and uh, maybe have new projects or new ideas. So I hope this was the case for for all of you. And and this is all for this presentation. So now, if anyone want to say anything about uh, this uh, this event, about ideas, about how you feel. Uh, about what we did and what you you'd like to do, so I'll just stop this uh, screen sharing, and uh, you can you are free to <laughs> say whatever you want, and uh, maybe first question to initiate the discussion is, uh, okay, this is a very easy and evident question. So how many of you think this is an event that would be nice to reconduct next year? Uh, <laughs> I see Nicola, which is a uh, very enthusiastic, uh, maybe other people too. So uh, tell me what you, what is your, well, what is your feeling? What is missing to what we could improve? Uh, I think about translation. I, I, I heard in, in my workshop uh, John talking about a truly multilingual uh, event or platform or whatever. What is being truly multilingual is to, um, to have uh, databases, uh, linguistic databases in multiple languages, but we also know all that uh, we have to allow people that don't speak English, don't speak French, to be able to uh, add data. So we have to uh, enhance those platforms to have a multilingual localization and everything. So this is something for me. Okay, who wants to talk? 